Hey, how's it going? Welcome to this tutorial. In today's tutorial, we're going to be talking about how we can connect our Expo or our React Native app to our Firebase emulator suite. And at the end of it, we're going to have printed a basic message, which is basically going to be on the load of the app in our Firebase database. We're going to see something called Hello World as a message. And then we're going to return it in our actual console right down here. So let's go ahead and get started. Alrighty, so for the sake of this tutorial, you're going to want to have a couple of things installed as a prerequisite. You're going to need Node.js, you're going to need the Expo CLI. If you're using an Expo CLI, uh, sorry, if you're going to be creating an Expo app, or you're going to need the uh, React Native app already built, um, and you're going to need the Firebase CLI um, already set up, authenticated, and everything. So what I'm going to do is, for the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to be using an Expo app. So I'll be doing expo init, and I'll call it Firebase Emulators App. And I'll do dash dash npm, so it uses npm. And we'll just do the minimal template. You can do the, um, you can do either one, doesn't really matter. Now, while that's happening, the next thing that we're going to do is pretty much just wait until that's done. Okie dokie, so now that that is installed, the next thing that we're going to do is we need to install the Firebase SDK. So I'll do is npm install Firebase and let that work its magic. And while that's installing, what we're going to do is we are going to be importing a couple of things. So the first thing that we're going to import is import Firebase from Firebase slash compat. And then after that, we're going to be importing get auth, connect auth emulator from Firebase Auth. Now this is just for authentication. I'm assuming if you want to have authentication for your app. You don't need to add this if you don't want to. And just to make sure that we are connected to Firebase, we're gonna make it request to our real-time database. So what I'll be doing is I'll do import Firebase slash database and I'll import connect database emulator and then connect database from Firebase database. All right, so the next thing that we gotta do is we need to set up our Firebase emulator itself. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a new directory I'll call it Firebase Emulator, and I'll cd into the Firebase Emulator. And what I'll be doing is I'll do Firebase init. And since we're setting up the emulator only, we're going to go down a little bit, and we're going to select the Emulators option and press Enter. And then we can just go ahead and create a new project. And then we can give it a unique ID. I'll just call it uh, Firebase Emulators emulators tutorial default is fine and then and then Google Cloud project will uh, Google Cloud platform project will go ahead and create it and then so the next step it asks us that do we want to set up authentication emulator functions database data uh, Firestore database regular database hosting pub spec storage all of these um, we're actually going to go and select a couple of them so we'll just go ahead and select Authentication, functions, Firestore, database. We don't need hosting or pub sub, and we'll do storage as well. Now, if you want, you can select all of them. Since this is an emulator, it's not going to be costing you any money. And just go ahead and press enter. Do you want an auth emulator to be running on that? We're actually going to run it on 6969, uh, but you can do whatever it tells you as a default. Uh, I'm just going to be doing it as 6969 because I thought it'd be funny. Um, and then uh, the function emulator, that's fine. The Firestore is fine. Database, we're going to call this to be 9000. Yep. Storage, fine. And we also want to enable the UI, which is going to be with a Y. And then, which port do you want to leave for the... Um, go ahead and select any port. So we're going to leave it as empty. And we want to download the emulators now. And then after that, what we're going to do is we're going to run Firebase emulators start with a colon in the middle. And let that work its magic. And so you can see that it says here, cannot start storage emulator without rules specified in the Firebase JSON. Now, for the sake of this tutorial, we're actually not even going to be using the storage at all. So we can go ahead and remove that. And now if we rerun it, then everything should work peachy clean. There we go. And so here is our Firebase emulator UI right here. So if we go ahead and click on that we'll see that it's opened up right here and we have our authentication 
Sentience, Firestore, Real-Time Database. However, we don't have anything with storage. Um, now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and work with Real-Time Database and to see if we can connect it to our Expo app. Now, it's not going to be too complicated. Don't worry. So the first thing that I'm going to be doing is within my app.js file in my Expo app, or if you have a React Native app in your app.js file in your main hub, you're going to add a Firebase config. Now this config is just there as a placeholder. It's not going to contain your keys because we're just running it as an emulator. Then after that, what we're going to be doing is underneath it, we are going to be initializing our Firebase app with our config. And then finally, we're going to be adding a check to see if you are in the dev uh, part of your application, so if you're in development. And then if we are, we're going to be running, we're going to be creating a variable called auth and called auth and database. Auth is going to be equal to get auth. And then after that, we're going to be connecting our auth emulator to here. And then you're going to see that we have this odd string. Now, so basically what this string does is we want to run our Android emulator, but we need to find a way to connect to its IP address. And the way that we connect to the IP address is using 10.0.2.2. If it's not the same for you, you're going to actually have to just um, mess around and Google it a little bit. But for most Android emulators, and I think iOS emulators as well, all you have to do is run 10.0.2.2. Uh, and then we're going to give it our um, authentication endpoint name, which is 6969 with a slash. And then after that, we're going to do our database, which is just going to be get database, connect our database emulator to our database right here. And then after that, it's going to take two more parameters. Now, this one's a little bit more funky. This is going to just take the numbers from the IP address, no HTTP or anything. And then after that, we're just going to provide it the, um, the endpoint name. So 9,000 in our case, and our database right here called 9,000. Perfect. However, if you want to connect your emulator to a physical device, you can just replace this with localhost and it should work perfectly fine. And then after that, what we're going to be doing is we need to create a query to talk to our database so that we can actually see that everything is working. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do firebase.database.ref messages set and then give it the message parameter of hello world. And then after that, within our actual app itself, we're going to be doing firebase.database as a function dot ref and then we're going to give it messages slash dot once so configure and query it once and we're going to give it value there we go and then we'll just do a dot then I know we can use async await too but this is going to be an easy way to visualize exactly what's happening. I'm going to give it a snapshot with a function call like so. And we'll do const message is equal to snapshot dot value dot message. And then we'll do console dot log message from db. And we'll just give it right here, message. And then if there's any sort of error to catch that error, and we'll just do console.log error, and then error like so. Okie dokie. So I think that's about all we really need. So what we're going to do now is we're going to open up a new terminal. I'll we'll do cd firebase emulators app. I'll we'll do npx expo start. Yep, go ahead and run it at 8002 and open up an emu open up an, in the Android Studio. And then it's gonna say unable to resolve Firebase slash compat at app.js. So the reason why we had that error is because we did not do expo install Firebase. And so now if we go ahead and rerun our app. open up an Android let's go ahead and refresh it just gonna say Firebase doesn't exist which is perfectly fine uh, let's go ahead and save I don't know why it says that let's go ahead and refresh it
there we go so now it's saying oops so now it's saying message from database hello world and so now if we go into our firebase emulator which is this one right here let me zoom in a lot more and if i reload we can see that there has been a new database created it's called placeholder click on messages and we see message of hello world and that's it so that concludes the tutorial on how to connect expo with firebase emulator suite and if you enjoyed this video be sure to like and subscribe and i'll see you on the next one peace